now we need to create our footer so let's write the footer comment and after the main tag we will create the footer tag so let me close the main tag so this is our main tag and this is our header now we need to create our footer so let me some space here then first of all we have a footer link so create a div and give it a class is equal to container text dash center and text dash mb dash left then we have a grid row create a div and give it a class is equal to row padding along y axis is 5 then we have the grid column so create a div and give it a class is equal to call dash md dash 3 and margin along x axis is auto so inside this we have the h5 heading and uh, give it a class font with bold text dash uppercase and margin top 2 then we have a span tag and give it a class is equal to logo dash color padding red dash 2 and we have a f f so font of some icon fs fa dash paw and the size is fa dash 2x two times so after this create another div and give it a class is equal to row then we have a grid column so create a class called dash md dash 12 and padding along y axis is 2 then create another div and give it a class equal to margin bottom dash 5 and flex dash center so our first link is for the font Facebook. So give it font of some icon FABFA dash Facebook. After that we have a Twitter icon. Then we have the link for the Instagram. Similarly the anchor tag and inside this we have a font of some icon. So FABFA dash Instagram. The size is two times so let me refresh this so it will look like this now so let's close this and close this 12 column div so after this we will create the hr horizontal row so this inside the row and this is inside the third column div so three six nine twelve we will create three more to three column divs so this is for the second one let me write the class clear fix w dash width is 100 and d and on medium device it will display none so this for the second grid column and uh, give it a class called dash md dash 3 and margin long x axis is auto then we have a h5 tag and give it a class is equal to font fade ball logo dash color margin top dash 4 and the text is about now we need to add some links here so after this inside this column we will create the ul tag and give it a class is equal to list dash unstyled padding along axis 3 so this is our first link and this is the second and this is the third so it will look like this we will style it later and now close this and this is the second grid column now we need to create the third grid and above this we have a horizontal row so it will display on mobile devices so let me create the third column which is grid uh, give it a class the call to call dash md dash 3 and margin long x axis is auto then we have the h5 heading similarly which is the quick links then we have the unordered list and similarly list I learn give it a class is equal to list and styled and padding long x is 3 so this is our first link then we have second then we have third now we need to create the subscribe form so let me close this now three the so first third column second and third now we need to create a fourth which is the last one and above we have the horizontal row then we have third grid column give and give it a class equal to call dash md dash 3 and margin long x axis auto then we have h5 tag and give it a class 
font width for logo dash color margin top dash four. Then we have some space and we have our subscribe form. So create a form. Classical to text dash center, padding top dash four, text dash left, and the input type is equal to email and ID is equal to subs. And give it a class form dash control, margin bottom dash four, and give it a placeholder is equal to email. And give it a required field. And now for the subscribe button. Mm, yep, you need to add a, yep, give it a create a div and give it a uh, class inside the button give it a class is equal to btn btn dash md btn dash primary margin right four and btn dash block type is equal to submit and id is equal to off and this is the subscribe button so almost done so we need to add the so let uh, this div end here so third six nine twelve and this is inside the row and this is inside the photo link now we need to uh, take copyright so let's create a div and give it a class is equal to text dash center padding is along all side is 4 text dash white and style background font size 20 pixels so it will look like this now cop 2021 copyright and give it an anchor tag a class is equal to text dash white and href so this is my youtube channel link so if you are new to my youtube channel make sure you subscribed uh, so this is our youtube channel web solutions so our folder is almost done now we need to give it some style so the link looks good so this is our footer, main and header. So our website is almost done. Now we need to add style this footer so the link will look good. So we add a class foot. Now give it a color, hashtag 1818. Similarly for the hover. Uh, give it a color, text expression and cursor pointer now and color ed 6436 so style part is also done so let me close this and oops. and this is our html part now we need to add the add smooth scroll effect so let's copy the smooth scroll effect and paste it here so let me paste this so this is our smooth scroll effect basically it will target redirect to the href and we give it a uh, id on each section so it will redirect to this so that's it and our website is done now and let me just show you so this is our complete website that we have built premium food section then we have activities and exercise section so we have some nice effects on buttons then we have our, our services section nice effect on button also as well then we have we happy section then we build the price plan after that teach your pet section then we have our team section then after that check-in time so dogs and cats comparison section then we have court then we have a contact us for section we have a nice effects on form here and we have a clean footer so i hope you have learned something new from this project and i try my best to make this project uh, as easy as possible and deliver you high quality stuff so it is also responsible on all devices and you can see the horizontal row on the foot also so let me just show you the complete picture for website so this is our complete picture for website let me zoom in it's a home section pet food so this is the complete picture of our website that we built and it is clean and modern i think and i hope you like this project and you have learned something new from this project so 
this is the complete website that we create congratulations so that's it for this video and i will see you in my next project